Okay, so thanks for joining us. We're going to show you how to fix one of these two keys. Okay, now the, the way that you fix them is the same. This one's for an Astra J or an Insignia. Uh, this one is for a Corsa D or a Vectra or Astra H or whatever. Okay, now these keys are not broken. As you can see, they're working fine. They're just some old keys we've got lying about and we're going to show you how to fix your key okay okay so when you open up your box that we send you it will have inside the first thing i'll have is some instructions okay these are just information sheets and they've got everything on that we're going to talk about today but have a read through them some help okay please please read these okay really important okay so inside your box we have Take your bag out, some packaging there, and there's our contact number if you need it in there. Okay. When you undo your bag, you should have three things in here. You should have your new case. All right. You should have a pin punch. And the last thing is you should have a little screw. Okay, so if you haven't got all those three bits, Okay, be really surprised, but check you've got all those three bits first, okay? The next thing to check before you do anything else is that the blade flicks out properly, okay? And stays shut. So on that one there, flick it open and stay shut. This is your new case. I want you to be confident that what we've sent you works, okay? So that works absolutely fine, okay? Okay, so it's really tempting to break open your old key and start get started, but the first thing we recommend is you want to get this case, you want to swap the blades over, okay? All right, so you want to get this blade, okay, into this key. All right, and we're going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so this is your old key, and the first thing we recommend you doing is get a bit of your cardboard box we've sent you. Okay, just tear a little bit off and shove it down here. Hopefully you can see that. All we're doing there is making sure the blade stays where it is, okay? So it's not flicking in and out then. All right, that's the first thing. The next thing is that you wanna take your punch, okay? And you wanna pop it into the hole of the key. You gotta hold it still, it's a bit tricky. Let me just get that steady. Okay, let's just zoom out a bit so you can see. And we're going to give it a knock with a hammer. Just a little hammer. Now hopefully you can see from that that the punch fits the hole fine. That's the first thing. And that on the back end of it, it's not the pin out. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. All right, we just finish that off. Now, just... Be careful, obviously, if you're knocking this pin out, it's going to make a hole or something in here. Yeah, you don't want to get on your, your best table or something. I'm just going to knock the rat out, so just find somewhere to do that. All right, the punch is through. Let's take that out. And now we can take the uh, blade out. So that's your old blade out of your old key. All right, let's move that out of the way, along with the pin. Get rid of the pin, but you need the blade. So this is the new case. You can see it's just got a screw hole there. There's nothing inside it at the moment. And when we put the blade into this, I you've got to open the key anyway. So let's open up the key. And to open up the new key or the old key, we recommend these. So these are circlet pliers. Okay, you squeeze the handle, and the jaws open up. Okay, squeeze it up. So this is going to be really easy because there's nothing keeping it together. So just pop it into there, open up, give it a gentle squeeze, and everything will kind of fly out. A bit more, sometimes a bit tight. There you go. All right, that's going to open up. And everything's going to unwind and come out the key. Okay, don't worry about that. 
So what you want to do is put everything to one side apart from this. All right, so this is your blade assembly and you have to use this blade assembly. You can't use your old pieces and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. So same again, we're going to knock the pin out of here. Okay, using the punch. Now when you knock the pin out of this one, if you do it straight onto the table, you are going to damage the table or wherever you are. So it might be worth trying to get the empty box you've got. Pop it on the empty box. And give it a knock, all right? Here we go. Don't worry if it falls over, it is coming. So you can see the pin is starting to move. See that? Okay. <clears throat> Don't worry if it takes a few hits. And eventually, you'll see the pins come in a bit more. And now you can see that this comes out the new blade so we don't need that let's get rid of that and the pin is going to be somewhere inside this box there you go so there's your pin that we knocked out okay so now we have the new this is the new part that came with the key and this is your old blade and if you look in here you there's a groove that runs through here yeah that's where the pin goes just there and that's got to be lined up with the hole. Okay, now if you zoom right in, you'll see there's a tiny little bit where it's not matched up. Now you can get the pin in there if you try, but it's a little bit tricky. It takes a little bit hitting. So all we're gonna do is take a tiny little bit off, okay? Okay, so all I've got is just a basic needle file, okay? You can get away without doing this, but it's easier if you do it and just rub a tiny little bit off there. All right, you're just opening that slot up just a tiny little bit. All right, don't need much. And that's fine. Okay, so then that now, when you put that into there, is gonna line up better, okay? Okay, so the next thing is that we need to get this pin back into there okay and it's a little bit fiddly but you know all these things are for you it's like any DIY really we need to line that up and then give it a knock now there's a couple of different ways you can do this you can just try and balance it on there and give it a knock like that's balanced at the moment you can probably see that and if we give it a quick tap hopefully it will go through There you go. So that's one way of doing it. The other way, okay, so the other way is to get the pin started in the hole, okay? And then get your set of pliers on there. The only thing is you don't wanna mark, if you, if you try and squeeze it together, you might mark the key, but let's have a go. It's a bit tricky when you're on film, but here we go, all right. Okay, so it's starting to go down. Let's give it a bit more of a squeeze. I'm trying not to snap my fingers in there. All right, it's on its way. And then we just need to finish it off. And if, if it was me, you're almost there now, you see? So I would just get your hammer if you can. and finish it off. All right. The important thing is to make sure there's nothing sticking out over there so that it, if there is, if there's anything sticking out, then the simple thing is just to get your punch on there 
and just to tap it down. Because what you don't want is anything sticking out. All right. Okay. Great stuff. So that's all smooth. That is all smooth. And that really is the most difficult part of this job done. All right. Okay. So now that you've got this, okay, all done, you could put this key back all together now, and this would turn the locks in your car because you know that this blade used to fit your car. But we're going to move all this out of the way for a minute, and we're going to move this out of the way for a minute, and we are going to open up your old key. All right, so at the moment you've got no blade in it, uh, and we're going to show you the simplest way we know to open these. So we've, we've heard stories of people like using saws or blades or something, and there's really no need for it. This is the all you got to do. So you get your circlet pliers again, put them into your hole there. Okay, see them all lined up. And once you're in there, you just give it a squeeze as wide as you can. Okay, and that <coughs> and that is your key open. All right. So if you pull this right open now. You can see it's just so easy to open it up. All right, so let's take that out. And this is what you're after. Now you just need to be a bit careful. Just gently, gently. And come up. And there is what you need. Okay, so let's pop that down with the new case. We don't need this anymore. We can get rid of this. Okay, apart from the battery, you might want to put a new battery in, but just you'll need the battery out of that. Okay, so just while we're doing this, I wanted to show you how easy this, these keys come open. So this is for the Corsa. You might have bought a case for one of these. It's exactly the same. Put your things in there. Give it a squeeze. Okay. And you just hear it crack, and then the case comes open. So then you'll need to give it a good pull. Okay, you can pop that out of the way. Oh, oh blimey, that was a bit of a. All right, there you go. So let's get this open. All right. So that was a little bit harder than the insignia one, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's all the bit they want. And we're going to get on with the rest of the video. I want to show you something now, which is the main cause of problem, people having problems with their key. Okay, so the biggest problem we have is that people try and use the old parts. They just take it straight out of their old key and want to put it into a new case. And it doesn't work. And I'll show you it doesn't work. Quickly. Let's just... Wind it up, a couple of rounds. I'll show you this slowly in a minute, okay, how to do it properly. But. So what we've got there is a new case that we've sent you and the old parts that were out of your old key. And when you try and close it, it won't close. Okay, and that's because you're trying to use the old parts, right? You're trying to use this part and you're trying to use this part and they do not match the new case. All right, so don't do that. <clears throat> so let's move on. So we've got everything here now we need to get our key working and it's going to be super duper easy. I'll move that out of the way for a minute. And we'll move that and we'll move that. So the next thing you've got the button here and the blade holder. Now the button has got three spiky bits on the back. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> and you've got three in here. You've got three little places that the spiky parts go, yeah? Now unfortunately, it'll only go in the correct way in one position. All right? If you don't get it in the right way, the button doesn't poke through. Hopefully you can see that. So let's just try it a couple of different ways. So that there, 
won't fit. So the last way, there's only, it should, here you go. So on the third go, eventually you'll get it so the button pokes out the back and you know now that that's in the correct position. Next, take your spring. Your spring has got a curly, uh, like a little tail on one end. And now the other end has got a little internal tail. So that goes into there like that. Fantastic. So now you've got your old blade in the new blade holder with your new button and your new spring. Okay. And you're going to put it into your case. Now you, you on your case, this is where you want to be. So hopefully you can see in front of my finger, you've got a little spigot there. Can you see it poking out? Hopefully. A bit out of focus, sorry. It's just there. All right. So what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is line these up. So the the pokey bit, need, the spigot needs to go inside the spring. And once you've got them all lined up, that's the hardest bit done. All right. Now you need to wind the spring. Now you want the blade to flip out. Okay. So you have to wind it the opposite direction. So I would wind it twice. So that is once and twice. Okay, so now you've got a blade that's all wound up, ready to go. You've got, just hold it in place with your thumb. And the next thing is to put the circuit board in. <clears throat> now, with the circuit board, don't touch anything around here. Okay, that's really important, so leave that alone. Just place that in there. It will just fit in there nicely, okay? And then the last thing, why you hold this tight, is to put your cover on. Okay, slide your cover over the top. Now, you can let go of your blade now. Now, I would squeeze this back end first. Sometimes the cases don't go together because the back end doesn't squeeze together. So that has fine. Okay, you can see there's no gap. But sometimes you do get a bit of a, uh, this end doesn't want to close. I don't know why, and you have to take it apart together and do it again, all right? But on this occasion, we're all good. There's no gap around here. Uh, oh yeah, what I forgot to say is that you need to put your blade out in order to get the case together. Flick it out like that. Okay, so now you've got no gap all the way around and the blade flicks out absolutely fine, as you can see. Works perfectly. And the last thing is, you need to put your screw in. So, just pop your screw in like you've got. Okay. Give it a tighten up. Okay, that's tight enough. That means your two halves won't come apart and you've still got a good flip action there. Don't forget to put your battery in, so give this a pull. There's your green circuit board in there. And let's take your battery out of your old key. All right, just to... And pop it in, and then pop your cover on. And that now should work your car perfectly. The last thing people ask is, is it possible to get the logo off here and to put it onto there, which would be nice because uh, it doesn't come with a logo. We can't sell Vauxhall logos, we're not allowed to. But, okay, so there is a way of doing this and that is to get a, a bit of a, a soldering iron and to melt the plastic just underneath. I'm gonna do that uh, and then show you what I've done. So hopefully you can see there, what I've done is I've got a soldering iron because we've got one in the workshop. Uh, and just made a hole underneath and then get your pin or something and then just ease it off slowly and the logo will come off so that's your logo off and it comes with some sticky back plastic okay uh, if you want to you can put some new stuff on or you can just stick it back on if you just stick it back on like this, it may fall off. So you might want to put some new plastic on or stick it back plastic or a bit of glue. And there you go. There you go. It, uh, it just fell off.
So you'll need something on there, okay? All right, but there we go. So the blade flicks out properly, the buttons work, and it should start your car fine. And we really hope this video has been helpful for you. If you've got any questions, please call us on the number that is on your paperwork. Okay, give us a ring or drop us a text and we will try and help you the best we can. Thanks for watching.